Hello, this is DJ Overspin, and today what I'm going to be showing you is how to install Grand Theft Auto 4 with no errors in everything on a Windows 7 operating system. This also works in Windows Vista and Windows 8.8 and Windows 8.1. Um, now I'm going to be putting in the CD and I'm going to go ahead and open up the program and install it and it will bring up a window for you know installing Rockstar Games Social Club and install that you know if you don't want it in a particular area go ahead and install it somewhere else and just install that it'll pop up with another window after that install uh, installation is done and go ahead and move to the second installation which is the main game once you have that open and everything just go ahead and install it choose your path of location which I didn't choose any and go ahead and start in installing now you can see that it actually asks for the second disc so go ahead and pop in the second disc and click OK and it should work once it is all completed click on the next or finish button and it should do an update or whatever it does and just go ahead and close out everything as I am showing you next what you want to do is pop on Google and type in GTA IV title update 1.0.7.0 update uh, download and click on the first link you see it should bring you to a website and go ahead and click on English as I am showing you and then go ahead and click OK or download open with or whatever and just download it now that the program is downloaded what you need to do is drag and drop the whole folder for the title update to your desktop close out WinZip and open up the folder and double click on the title update and say run and run again and you should be able to calculate computer space and whatnot and install the title update and go on from there the program will say to uninstall Rockstar Games Social Club, which you say yes, and it will uninstall Rockstar Games Social Club, click finish after the, uh, the whole thing is done, and go ahead and exit out, and everything should just close out. Okay, at first the, the game cannot run unless you do other things as well in Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, and 8.1 so what you need to do is locate to your game directory and locate launch GTA 4.exe right click on it go to the compatibil uh, compatibility tab check the box that says run this program in compatibility mode 4 and uh, you know Windows Service Pack 3 and check run this program as administrator click apply OK and do that for GTA 4.exe and on your desktop should be a link it should be a shortcut and do the same thing on there if it applies to you and do what I say Next, what you need to do or want to do is go to your control panel and go to Programs and Features and scroll down to Microsoft Visual C++, all the versions in there, and go ahead and uninstall everything as much as possible. If there's a program running that's using it, don't worry about it. And after you uninstall everything that you see me doing right now, just go to Google and search up Microsoft Visual C++ from 2005, 2008, 2010, and 2012 with 
all uh, with both 64-bit and 86-bit operating systems and go ahead and install every single one of them. Okay, and now the last step to do is go to Google, type in Games for Windows Live Download, and you'll come up to this page and go ahead and download everything, as you can tell. Uh, there is my download speed right there, which isn't my full speed. It could hit 1.4 or 1.5 megabytes per second. And uh, yes, that is my download speed. Don't criticize it. And uh, yeah, it should just install very easily. This is actually a better update than the one that Grand Theft Auto 4 has installed for you. So just go ahead and install this game, eh, this program and everything. It should work according to plan. And you know, once once installed, I'll actually show you everything else after showing you everything that is pre-recorded that I have to redo the audio for. Okay, now that you have done that, go ahead and start launching Grand Theft Auto 5 and you should see the games for uh, uh, Rockstar Game Social Club pop, uh, pop up and everything. Go ahead and type in your email address and password that you provided for Rockstar Games and log in and you should see something about firewall or something like that that should pop up go ahead and click connect and basically what you need to do when doing that and everything when going into the game uh... which i will not be showing because the the game didn't want to record live and everything so i had to do other things is download games for windows live uh, update and everything that means you have to close out the game afterwards and uh, should download right off the bat which I am showing you about now I know the screen was black and everything but just go ahead and download the update and you should be able to run it and there you go I am actually playing this game I don't have the sound recorded right now because uh, yeah, this is pre-recorded and everything, and right now it is actually running. I would do a preview of Windows 8 and 8.1, but the thing is that, you know, my computer just doesn't like me when I'm playing on a Windows 8 operating system, but I'm sorry for the video quality and everything. A little bit laggy, but not so much. It's... It, it's because I have the settings a little bit off so I'm gonna correct it a little bit but I do get at least like 30 frames per second depending on other things as well so yeah I hope this video actually does help you out as for the tutorial on how to connect to Xbox Live is you know how to I mean not Xbox Live but uh to play online with this game if you get an error message because of that, it's because you're not running a legit copy or the Steam community has shut it down. This is only for the CD copy version of this game, so don't ask me why do I get a message about going online. It's because you don't have a valid copy or you're running off of Steam. And that's basically it, and I hope you do enjoy this video I hope it does help out a lot and if you have any questions and everything I will be glad to answer it depending if I get back on YouTube and comment back on your comment so please keep in touch with me and you guys have a great night I need